You've seen more ads than you can count, and tonight was the first chance to see the candidates for governor face to face in their own words. It was the first televised debate between Republican Walker Stapleton and Democrat Jared Polis. It took place right here in the CBS4 studio, and political specialist Sean Boyd was the moderator. And Sean, things got pretty heated yeah, at times. I, I felt more like a referee than a moderator tonight. This was must watch TV. Both candidates came out swinging. And I rarely say this about a debate, but this one left you wanting for more. He literally is proposing things that will triple our budget obligations, Jared. Come on, level with Coloradans. You know, and you have no way to pick for this. Walker, you're attacking proposals State that aren't mine, right? Yeah, you're you're right, attacking course, things that you. I don't support. Sure, sure. The candidates came ready for battle. Walker Stapleton's game plan frame his opponent as a tax and spend liberal. Jared Polis is the most radical extreme candidate for governor. In Polis' game plan frames Stapleton as someone void of big, bold ideas. Well, you know, it seems like every time Walker talks, it's noun, verb, Jared Polis, noun, verb. Jared Polis. I'm here to tell you about my plans. And in most cases, the two candidates' plans are vastly different. On transportation, Stapleton called Polis' push for more mass transit radical. We have to be spending all of our money on roads and bridges, bridges and roads. Walker just said that buses and light rail and bikes are somehow radical. While the candidates both oppose a ballot measure on setbacks for fracking, Polis says he wouldn't support the governor and legislature delaying implementation. Stapleton would. I would pursue every redress possible for that job killing measure. Um, and uh, that's where we're different. What we're talking about here is the sanctity of the will of the voters. The two dodge questions on abortion. Polis refusing to say if he would support allowing state dollars to pay for abortions. Stapleton wouldn't say if he'd sign a bill banning abortion. And I will be a pro life governor. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to speculate on the future of Roe versus Wade. I think the dollars should go to health care. I mean, we, we need to, my goal is to save Abortion families money on health care. Uh, it is included in many health care plans. The two also refused to be nailed down on the question of tax returns. For five We're years, you didn't pay taxes, Jerry. I paid taxes and, and, every and, and one of those what? five years. I have a way of resolving this. You know? Will you release recent tax returns before? Ballots go out. That's in the next two weeks. I, I will do it if Walker releases seven will years to catch to up with seven, where I no, am. She said five. And then we'll move she forward with three. I said recent and from tax the trust returns. Well, you have to catch up with where I am. I've, I've released seven Come years. On. You've released so, zero. Well, Stapleton said he'd think about releasing his returns. Polis said he'd only do it if Stapleton did. Immigration, one of the issues where they found common ground, both opposing sanctuary cities and supporting dreamers. I don't think there was a clear winner tonight, but I think if voters weren't paying attention before this debate, they are now. And many of us also now know what kombucha is, a tea the candidates are fond of. You can see the entire debate on CBSDenver.com. Interesting night. Sean, thanks so much.